New York Fashion Week, where the pre-shows alone are seen. You look very cool. A runway for everyone vying to be seen. Cue the Beckerman twins. Thanks. When it comes to getting noticed, these Canadian it girls can write the book on it. Yeah. Or rather, an incredibly popular blog. We're fashion bloggers, I would say, is our actual job. We're, we are editors. Brand ambassadors. But it's, and then, in and a way, we're photographers because we're, you know, we use our phones, our iPhones. Yep. We're like phone photographers. And True. then we're always wearing lots of different clothes, so we're not, yep. I don't consider myself so you, a model, you, but group, we are definitely. When you group all those things together, we're bloggers. We're bloggers. <laughs> if you're a little dizzy and maybe a little dazzled, well, there are two of them. Sam and Kaylee Beckerman are a new type of celebrity, social influencers who create their own eclectic content and cash in on it. So today I'm doing like a rock and roll kind of vibe. My friend Haruno from Japan made this for me. What they wear. I'm wearing a Chanel dress. How they wear it. A spring summer dress that I winterized with long underwear underneath it because it's a little chilly here. <laughs> uh, Anna um, Karen Carlson, Swarovski, Sunny. All of it matters to enough people they've been able to parlay their look at me style into a lucrative living. A lot of the time people are like, are you guys actually working? Like, is, it, is this work? And honestly, like even our dad said to us, is this actually work? And I was like, dad, if we're making- know we're traveling around the world, having yeah, a blast, I'm having like, so much if fun we're making working, it look easy, then that's a good thing. Then, the, yep. th then we're doing our yep. job. And it's a job, all right. The Beckerman twins have built a powerful personal brand that has helped create a whole new type of advertising and a whole new multi-million dollar industry. Forget about traditional billboards. The power of social influencers lies in social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. That's where their followers are. And that's why big companies are willing to pay big bucks for a tweet or a post. From high end, to high whimsy and everything in between. Company after company has come calling. Hey guys, we're just headed to the Chanel Couture Show. Hoping the so twins' excited. bubbly brand will sell theirs to their 300,000 plus followers. We work with a lot of different brands, um, H&M, Aldo, Coach, Chanel, Disney, Disney, Moschino, Apple, Jeremy Scott, I mean, Diesel, They're, the list goes on and on. They flew the collection in on a private plane, let's go! The twins don't like to talk about how much all that brings in, but are happy to report they're doing just fine. It's, we're making a great living. We're making a great living, yeah. yeah. We're enjoying life and it's, it's been really great. feel really happy, yeah. <laughs> we're doing some cool filming. They can't help but strut. The Beckermans are at the top of the social influencer heap, and there are plenty trying to get there too. Eager to be part of a new economy dominated by millennials, whose job is to post, post, and post some more. That's good, ready? And there's an art to turning into the next market magnet. I work really well under pressure. At YouTube's new Toronto office, the company's next up strategy taps emerging stars and gives them pointers on how to polish their brand on YouTube and every other platform they're on. Mark Swires runs the space. You know, it's everything that we teach here from uh, camera work, pre-production, post-production, editing, uh, really getting down into the YouTube platform and learning how to use analytics, unique, learning how to use real-time analytics, predictors, um, talking to your community. It's all those aspects, I think, that make a celebrity or a successful creator. You still have too much space for so my own liking. Heard. This is, after all, yeah, so big business. YouTube oh, gets a cut of the millions of advertising dollars their top so creators bring in. She's got to be natural. So the key the piece of right advice story, sounds of trite, but is all about being very true. The, rivers blow, blow, blow. the number one thing that we teach is to be authentic. The top creators out of Canada, they're all very authentic. They're very true to who they are as a person. That's the one thing that we teach that really can take creators to the next level. And I think in traditional uh, mediums or traditional methods in the past, that maybe wasn't the case. Uh, we're seeing that transfer really, really quickly on YouTube. And why are brands interested in that? I think brands like authenticity. Beauty blogger Brittany Sarah really, truly does love the camera. <laughs> Large movement. She's a self-professed okay. beauty product junkie whose makeup tutorials draw nearly 25,000 subscribers to her YouTube channel alone. Two, one. 
In the last year, big name companies have started to notice. I have Sephora and Revlon, I have L'Oreal, I'm chatting with Neutrogena, um, Garnier. My favorite eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I love eyeshadow palettes. I highly recommend this palette. These Sarah's take so on eyeshadows to lipstick influences her followers and may persuade them to buy those products. So I'm excited to try these. It's a form of direct advertising companies are more than willing to pay for. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I think I was just out with friends and I literally like hit live on Instagram and I was like, oh, just like that was my work for the day. Like, like <laughs> that was it. I, that was all the work I did today. I clicked like upload and um, Obviously, more work went into that beforehand. And how much did you make with that one click? Um, $250. If you're starting to think you're in the wrong line of work, you're not alone. There are an estimated 25 to 50,000 social influencers in Canada. That amounts to $500 million to $1 billion in the amount of money they collect by brands. And that's not counting the newbies who are just getting started. There you go. I think that's pretty good. Awesome. Most launch their online brand with little more than a camera and maybe a light or two. Your hair looks good. Anna Rubik is trying to crack into the beauty blog business. Her husband, James Rubik, is usually the guy behind the camera. What kind of advantage does it give you to work with your wife on this? Well, in media research, knowledge is power and I have an amazing resource uh, literally living with me. You have three highlighting shades. And that knowledge and is key. Like when he's not helping his wife, Rubik's day job is actually figuring out how much content like hers can command. I only want to know people that have tweeted about this event. Rubik so works for a media company social. called Cision. It has the world's largest database of social influencers and calculates the dollar figure they can charge companies so for even a mention. Yeah. They are charging anywhere between $25 to $200 for a single tweet. For an Instagram post, it could cost $200 to 1000 uh, Really, with the largest influencers uh, in our database or in the industry, they get to sign their own ticket on what they get paid. It's this really amazing connection that we have with, you know, people around the world and especially... And no wonder. Top social influencers like the Beckerman twins have larger followings than some TV shows. And they have something even more valuable. We're the Beckerman sisters and this is our Toronto. People trust their family first, social media influencers second, and the media and other brands third or fourth. Second? Yes, they trust them almost as much as they trust their own families. And why is that? Authenticity. Um, someone talking about their own personal experiences, sharing their own personal life with people, it's a very authentic voice. So when they're delivering a brand message, so if someone's discussing a product, it comes off to be as more authentic promotion than it would be coming from a brand ambassador who was being paid as a celebrity or uh, the brand itself putting out an advertisement on TV. That authenticity is a social influencer's cred, their virtual currency. The challenge is keeping it real while raking it in and not coming off as just another paid celebrity. in the backyard. It doesn't get more real and more Canadiana than this. Huntsville, Ontario. So I built this this mini rink. It's only eight feet by eight feet. It gives me a little spot so I can stick handle. I uh, even laced them up. So part of it was for myself just to, to maybe shoot some fun videos out here. Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a mini backyard rink. Jeremy Rupke shot to online fame with his How To Hockey tutorials. Some of them get nearly a million views. So this wax is designed specifically for hockey. Eager to capitalize on those potential customers, companies have asked Rupke for straight up promos. This is where I shoot a lot of the videos. He turns them down because it would pay well, but it would cost him. The people watching expect it to, to be a certain way. So I always try to maintain a standard and deliver something that's worth watching. I feel if I'm just kind of promoting or shouting about a product, it's, it's not something anyone wants to watch. I want to create something that people want to watch, they enjoy watching, and they want to share with other people. Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the process that you should take from when you get brand new skates to when you can skate on them. So Bauer sent me this brand new pair of 1S skates. I'm going to take them to the shop in town. Glenn is going to bake them, 
sharpen them, and profile them. And we're going to talk about that whole process along the way. Hi, I'm Glenn uh, from Sharply Source of Sports in Huntsville. I'm with Jeremy today uh, from How To Hockey, and we're going to be discussing heat molding, your brand new skates. Let's go. Perfect. Rupke's videos do feature big name goods. The fit is just as important as heat molding. Most of them are freebies, like these fancy new skates from Bauer that cost upward of $1,000. New advertising guidelines in Canada require social influencers disclose any form of payment to their audiences. Hop back in. So Rupke makes it clear he's reviewing the products, not peddling them. So you can see the pliability of this. Oh yeah. That should give you guys a pretty good idea on the advantage of baking a brand new pair of skates and how you can get more comfort out of them. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bauer knows it can't trade in a pair of skates for an endorsement, but says giving away products is worth it. Daryl Hughes is the company's marketing director. When we seed product or choose to give product to these influencers, um, it's not with the ask of please reply positively. We are confident that they're going to have a positive experience with the product when they receive it. And for the most part, um, they have and we haven't received anything negative. But that is the risk you take when you are giving product for someone to try. It's an absolutely gorgeous game. And when your target market is young people who follow social influencers, Bauer made the call to put its traditional advertising strategy on ice for the payoff of the social sway. And do you see this being your strategy going forward? Absolutely, yeah. Like, like when you think of where our end consumers, the 10 to 16 year old hockey players, so where they're gathering their information from their peers in the change room and from their tablets and what they see online. And for many of them, who they follow is influencing the product that they're choosing. But influence can be fleeting, and the key to staying relevant is working it. Back in New York, another day, another fashion show. And while the Beckermans make it look like such a breeze, it's a 24-7 gig. In just a few days here, they've had countless outfit changes, attended dozens of events, and posted more than 150 times. Sleep, it seems, is overrated. How long do you think you're gonna keep doing this? Forever. Forever. Yeah, forever. Yeah. I think it's a forever job. I mean, yeah. we love what we're doing, and who says we have to stop? We're our own bosses. That's right. <laughs> so, I mean, I could fire her, but then... <laughs> and then I could rehire her and fire her. And... Kind of like Stack. <laughs> they are living the dream. Banking on the future of social media and intent on staying ahead of their own curve. Thank you, guys. Thank you. One fashionable step at a time. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, New York.